Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Optimized. <laughs> oh, this is crazy, mother. So, thinking about doing a, a vlog. That vlog is just going to be kind of a like a report of how my tutorials go, so I can talk about the things I did wrong and my shortcomings and stuff I forgot to mention. You know, things like that. I don't understand that British people want to get rid of knives. I just want to talk about the video, how it went. I'm sorry I couldn't give you more information about my speeds and feeds. I feel like that was very unprofessional. I was just rushing to get it done. Um, but I got another project coming up. I'm gonna cut some aluminum and I am not gonna be just exporting G-code with whatever speeds and feeds Fusion suggests. Yeah, that's what's coming down the pipe. Um, what else? Let me figure out this Joby thing. Oh, I gotta be careful of that button. Oh, I'll show you a bunch of footage of me dropping my camera. How the fuck does Peter McKinnon do this shit? Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Wow. I just dropped a $5,000 camera and lens. Meanwhile. There'll be a lot more cutting, a lot more welding, a lot more truck stuff, more Jeep stuff. It's all gonna be pretty much tutor tutorial based uh, videos and hopefully my editing gets better and I can remain entertaining for you. If any of you are watching this and you're familiar with YouTube people, yeah, I'm copying some of my favorite YouTube people. And I think what they do works and obviously it works for me. That video I posted hasn't even been up for 24 hours and already has 100 views. And I got like eight new followers today. I don't know if that's just because my mom shared it on her wall. She's so supportive. Or, if some people are genuinely interested in what I'm doing. But either way, it's fun. Anyways, yeah, so that video. Um, I had some real technical difficulties uh, at first when I started filming it. I Googled how to record my screen so I could do all that, uh, the Fusion tutorial part. And uh, Google told me to push Windows G. And when I pushed Windows G, it did record the screen, or it wouldn't record what was happening in the drop down menu. So, say if I was like click on sketch and then go down the rectangle, you couldn't see that box open and you couldn't see my mouse. So, I downloaded another program. I forget what it's called. I'm using the free tutorial right now. It's called Screencast O Matic, and I have no complaints with it. Uh, I always forget to turn on the microphone so I could be recording for, I think, one time. I did that tutorial like four or five times and so I got better and better each time so at the end you got to see the best version of it which is good. Then I had to go back and record that whole scene all over again the next day that's why I was wearing a red shirt and then I forgot to turn on the microphone and I got all the way through the sketch and extrude part and I was at the tool path and I looked over and the green light on the microphone that's on the back side that I can't see because I'm filming myself was off. I don't think I'm gonna be doing a vlog about how my day went, because that's certain words I can't use to express that. Directions nowadays. Look at this. No words, just pictures. Who do you think they are? Apple? Hewlett Packard. Yeah. I'm buying a new to me truck, which is an old uh, 1993 Dodge Cummins from a friend. And I think I might do a YouTube video called 12 Valve Tuesdays. And I'm just gonna do something in that truck every time and just bullshit into the camera like this. Uh, it's actually kind of fun talking into the camera for you all. Um, I just like editing it, getting better at that. It seems like the more videos I post, the more people that approach me saying, hey, uh, do you wanna film this or hey, uh, can you make me something on my CNC router? I've only posted a few videos, but so that's pretty good. That's the whole reason I wanted to start making YouTube videos, not only to learn and get better, but also exposure for my side hustle because what I do do for a day job, I can't really stand, nor can I stand the area that I live. 
So, yeah, I gotta find a way to make some more money to get out of here. And you people are gonna help me do that. Oh, thank you.